This is part two of my review of The Ferris Wife because I have more things to say, like specifically so about Hadley. Um, there's some good dialogue in here by McLean and I love descriptions of Paris, but the thing is like you're all, you're, Hadley doesn't like Paris in, in the book. She doesn't like it at all and she doesn't like anyone who lives there. So it makes it really dull because Hadley slash McLean has this way of just kind of reporting things. It's very straightforward, but it's like she's just listing, she's just listing facts. We don't really get to see the emotional immediate moment that Hadley is experiencing. It's just a listing of facts that like anybody could probably find from Wikipedia or a Hemingway biography. And like Hadley's so proud of herself or sticking to her principles at the end of the book and learning herself, her real self, but she does it. She just continues to be a doormat. So it's not interesting for the descriptions of Paris or for Hadley's character development. 